Hello. Today we're going to focus on perfect complements utility functions. To start, let's look at a graph. I'm going to put the number of units of good x we purchase on the x-axis and the number of units of good y we purchase on the y-axis. Our utility functions are going to look L-shaped. As always, to maximize utility, we must subject these indifference curves to a budget constraint like so. Notice how our budget constraint will always hit our highest indifference curve at this perfect point. The perfect point of a perfect complement's utility function is the point where we get the same amount of utility from both goods. Let's look at this specific question. In this question, our utility function over scoops of peanut butter and jelly is min of x comma 2y. The point where our utilities from each equate is where x equals 2y. That would be this point right here. It would also be this point right here or this point right here. So any point on any of our indifference curves where our utilities are equal. In this case, we're subject to $1 per scoop of peanut butter $1 per scoop of jelly, and a $12 income. So our budget constraint, or P1 x plus P2 y equals m, will be 1 x plus 1 y equals 12. That means x plus y equals 12. As we found above, x equals 2y. So I can plug in 4x, 2y. This means 2y plus y equals 12. So 3y equals 12, or y equals 4. If y equals 4, we can plug back into x equals 2y and get that x equals 2 times 4, or 8. This means, optimally, we should purchase eight scoops of peanut butter and four scoops of jelly. Interpretation-wise, perfect complements means that we like to consume these two goods together, and thus we want the same utility from both in order to optimize our utility. 